welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're all here. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you my updated red light routine. And I also wanted to show you some pictures of my current progress. The first change I have made to my red light routine is I'll insert some video footage from the update video that I did over a year ago. I told you I wanted all that red light goodness as close to me as possible, and so many of you warned me in the comments that it was probably not the best idea to be sitting so close to this really strong panel. And this Mito Pro 300 panel is a very strong panel. So I wanted you to know that I have listened and I have moved back. So now I'll insert a picture. I am now currently sitting about 12 inches away from this panel. Now I'm also going to insert a picture here where it shows you where the red light is hitting my body when I'm sitting about 12 inches away from the panel. And you can see that it clearly does hit my decollete area as well. And I have to tell you that for the longest time during my red light treatments, I would have t-shirts that came up to here, I would be wearing robes, and then it dawned on me that because the light is hitting my decollete, I obviously should be treating it. And realizing that I could treat my decollete in the same time I was treating my face and neck, I don't know why I didn't realize it sooner. So I have now ditched the top for my red light treatment so that that red light is hitting my decollete area. And I'm obviously not going to insert that picture. But just the fact of moving back, I get a wider range of where the red light is hitting onto my body. And I love that I am now able to treat my face, neck, and chest all in one treatment time. And I am still treating three to four times a week for 10 minute treatments. That is what I stick to. I have added to my red light routine since my last update video is using this Mesama Green Rooibos Press Serum prior to my red light treatments. I will wash my face in the morning and I will apply two pumps of the serum to my face, neck, and decollete area. And I did do a video where I talk about this serum and why I think it's so beneficial to add to your red light treatments. I will go ahead and I'll link that video below in case you're interested. But to briefly sum up why I think it's so great to add this to your red light routine is that there was a small study done with Mito and Mesama where they had the participants of this study put the Mesama Green Rooibos Press Serum on only half of their face for red light treatments. And the side of their face that they used the Mesama Green Rooibos Press Serum, the results that they got as compared to just plain red light were absolutely remarkable. And I'll go ahead and I am going to link the blog post from the Mesama website that talks about the study in more detail if you're interested in reading about it. So I have added this to my routine for about six months and I will tell you the first thing I noticed after adding this pretty early on was the reduction in the redness of my cheeks. I suffer from rosacea and much of the time prior to adding this serum to my red light routine, this is what my face would look like on a daily basis. My cheeks were very red and flushed all of the time. And yes, I could cover it up with makeup, but this is what I looked like every day without makeup. Since adding this to my red light routine, I have to tell you, I was amazed at the reduction in the redness of my cheeks. So now I'll go ahead and I'll insert a picture I just took this morning. This is no makeup. And I, it shows that the redness in my cheeks is diminished greatly. I was just shocked when I w saw this and when I noticed it for myself in the mornings when I would look in the mirror and I didn't have the, the bright rosy cheeks that I was used to seeing. And it was since adding this to my red light routine. So I'm absolutely thrilled at the redness reduction I have obtained since adding this to my red light routine. Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and I wanna show you my pictures of my neck on what's going on there. And, but I do need to just, I want full disclosure first before I show you my current neck picture. I'm gonna put up my first 
before picture that I took of my neck. And I wanted to tell you that I took this picture day one before I started treating myself with my Mito panel. I took this picture when I had no idea I was even starting a YouTube channel. This picture was just for myself. I was really disheartened with how my neck was aging and I wanted something to see if it was if this red light was working. So I snapped this picture just for myself. So for those of you in my other videos when you complain that the lighting is not very good in this picture or I was purposely trying to make my neck look worse, I agree with you the lighting is not going to be the same, but this picture was meant to be just for me and honestly I was not trying to make my neck look worse than, than it was. This was just something I was trying to have a starting point to judge if the red light was working. It's important for me to let you know Know that that I'm doing the best I can taking these pictures but I know it's not perfect I know the lighting is not exactly the same the angles are not exactly the same but I just I'm trying to do the best that I can to give you an accurate look at what I'm seeing in the mirror and another thing that I feel is important that I share with you in full disclosure is that about six months ago I started using the even skin lumo device which if you're not familiar is a radio frequency device that is designed to help your skin firmness and tightness. And I have been using that once a week for six months. So my current picture right now is a combination of my red light panel, my skincare, and that Lumo device. Okay, so now up on the screen, I am going to put my very first before picture of my neck and the picture that I just took this morning. So yes, again, this is a combination of my red light device, skincare, and for six months using the Even Skin Lumo. So for me, the red light absolutely does work. I saw huge improvements when that was the only device that I was using. I'm a believer. I'm a believer that red light therapy is one of the best things you can do for your skin as far as anti-aging is concerned. If red light is the only thing you're adding to your routine, I believe you'll see huge improvements because I know that I did. So friends, I think that is gonna be it for today. I do hope that this was helpful. And I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy days to watch my videos. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. And I will see you all next time. Bye.